So anyways, it was pretty slick out and uh, ended up slamming it in there. And I'm rocking back and forth, rocking back and forth. And uh, I'm getting frustrated. So anyways, uh, I'm like, there's no way I'm getting out. So I called the tow truck. Welcome back to Whiskey Dents. So today we have a special guest. Come in. So Dave from Classic Car Revivals. You're late. I'm always late. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <clears throat> actually I'm never late. So that's pretty cool. We're making a bunch of junk work, huh? Yeah, the plan is we're gonna make a tow, uh, a flat tow bar for uh, one of them Fords that's sitting outside. And his plan is to hook them together and drive them all the, that's about four and a half, five hour drive. And neither one of us has ever driven either one of these pickups. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty interesting <laughs> for him. Hopefully I don't have to come save him. Yeah, but hopefully. But I do have my rescue vehicle with, so. <clears throat> and there are only a couple Fords if they break down, I guess. I'll just put free. <laughs> Come get them. So, right. so we're going to get some measurements. I'm going to start cutting and fabricating on this stuff. Hoping we can get this done so that uh, he can get on his way because he's got a long ways to go and a little bit of time to get there. No tail lights, no brake lights, no nothing. <laughs> All right. So the plan is that we're going to weld this directly onto the bumper, being that it's all bent up. And then after he's done getting this pickup running and uh, roadworthy, <laughs> the plan is to drive it uh, roughly five hours home. So let's get right. to it. So what we're going to need to do is trim these up so they sit flush against the tube there. We're going to weld this on. Then we're gonna come down here. We're gonna take a pie cut somewhere out of this, slide it over so it's straight with the bumper, and then we'll weld on our uh, our brackets and whatnot so that we can bolt it on. Uh, I'm probably gonna drag it outside so I can uh, set it on the flat concrete, and we'll get it welded up. Oh, also, I thoroughly encourage you to check out Classic Car Revivals. He just said a thousand subs, as well as me. So I'm just gonna mark this stuff out. Just take a guess at it, see if I can't get it close. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure up, uh, I'm gonna go six inches. Nice, nice round number. And then we'll get that laid out. Basically, we're going to take a pie out of this, and then we're going to push it together. I'm going to tack everything together, and then we'll get the stick welder out and uh, weld it up solid after we uh, know for sure that it's going to fit. We may actually even just weld it on the truck. That probably makes more sense. So let me get this. Uh, let me get all this cut out. We'll do some tacking together, and uh, I'll be right back. We just have two small sections of uh, the, the hyperlapse, so. I don't like watching it. I'm sure you guys don't like watching it either. Just so you can see what I'm doing. I cut straight down the middle and then I took a sliver out of this side and a sliver out of that side. So now I'll be able to bend that. And now when we hook to the front of the truck, it'll be straight, so. Right, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I went out and checked it. Uh, apparently I've gotten a little bit overzealous and cut too much out, but this wedge piece is going to fit in there perfectly. So I'm going to tack that in there. I'm going to cut the other one. Then we're going to lop those ends off, get that welded on there. It's going to be a good time. Stay tuned. So for this, I'm just getting uh, everything laid out so I can make the other one exactly the same as the first one. It went a lot smoother. Pop that out, weld her together. It's good to go. You know, I respond to every single comment and I thoroughly enjoy them. So by all means, please comment.
Okay, so I got that one cut. They're absolutely identical, same exact angle. Now I'm gonna start notching these so that I can uh, weld it to the trailer coupler. I'm kind of thinking what I want to do is cut this so that uh, it's really long, so then I got that much more surface area to weld to. I think that is going to be the plan, so let's get to it. So yeah, I'm a big fat liar. I thought there was only two hyperlapse portions of this video, but I was wrong and I apologize. Back to you, Bob. So I got it all tacked together. We're gonna do a quick test fit on the vehicle and uh, we should be able to weld her up. Lower? Yeah, I probably would. Probably keep it level, actually. Yeah. There's a... Not sure how we're gonna do that just yet. Figure it out. I'll probably just leave this out here and then we can, oh, never mind. I gotta finish putting the other pieces on it and then we can uh, fire up the welder. A little bit of the fabrication process. Just doing a little bit of reinforcing here. Really don't want anything coming apart on them. I feel bad for a little while. that cut off and then we can weld that in. We're also going to reinforce this down here so that uh, there won't be any flex when we're in the towing process. So, yeah, get all this cleaned up, weld it on. So I got all this well together. Now I'm going to reinforce this with this piece of angle iron. Just a little, give it a little more uh, strength and rigidity. And then I'm gonna run this bar across the front as well so it's not, uh, it's not trying to twist and do things it's not supposed to while they're going down the road. So let me get this welded up. Yeah, maybe we'll throw some paint on it and make her pretty. What do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comments. Anybody wants to send me a, a bench vice, by all means, please do. If you don't get these even, it's gonna look goofy, so and we'll take the extra time. Measure it a few times. Get it right where you want it. Tack it, check it again, and then burn her down. 
actually is sitting at exactly where I'm going to have. That is perfect. Cover them if you got them. Check on progress. Do you think you'll get a run in today? Oh yeah, I got to. What have you done so far? Well, messing with brakes. Got the fuel line hooked up. I fixed the one brake line that was bad, started pumping. Another one went bad. Fixed that one, started pumping. Another one went bad, so I'm... Yeah. Camera lady went for another parts run. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second one. Well, it's technically third, third one today. Yep. So. Well, it's a good thing O'Reilly's is pretty close. Yeah. Really don't want to go anywhere else. So the best one in town. Yeah, I don't want to go to Napa. Napa stands for need another part a hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll check back later. All right. I got most of the welder together. Now we're going to try to uh, get our mounting bracket situated so that we don't have any clearance issues. So the plan is we're going to weld one of these on here and then one on the opposite side. But I'm just making sure that nothing hits. I think I'm going to have to round these corners off just a little bit and then we'll have full range of motion when you're driving down the road. You know, I hit a big bump or have to go over a culvert or whatever. You're Plenty of movement, no binding. So we grind these down and get them welded on, and then we'll uh, finish the welding on the truck out there. Little update: got it all welded. I reinforced it. I put a reinforcement here to keep it rigid. Now all I gotta do is drill uh, some holes on on that tube right there, and hang her up, and get her painted and uh, put the brackets on the truck and we're good to go. All right, so we got her hung up. Ready to paint. Fortunately, it's a little bit windy. So, probably gonna uh, move some stuff around in the garage and then I'll uh, roll that in there and get that painted. Um, Classic Car Revival's got that running. Driving, took it down the road, put a few miles on it, brought it back. Um, the steering was a little bit, uh, a little bit looser than he cared for, and the brakes weren't 100%. So he won't be flat towing uh, that pickup home today. So in lieu of that, I decided I needed to have that. So. Work out a little, uh, little arrangement. I'm gonna take that motor and uh, pull it out of there. And then that's up for sale. And that one, oh, I don't know, maybe 2,500 bucks, you can take them both. If anybody's interested, email me. So anyways, let's get some, uh, some room in the garage taken care of and we'll get that painted quick. Well, would you look at that? All nice and painted. Looks pretty good. No complaints. Um, I don't really need it now, so I'm probably gonna sell it. So if anybody needs one, let me know. Didn't take long, but you gotta run it. First drive, coming in hot. I should probably get out of the way. You must be pretty confident in those brakes. So that's going to do it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you ever need a flat tow bar, 
you know now you kind of know how to do one if you have any other questions just uh shoot them to me in the comments or you can email me no problem i can answer just about any question um special thank you to david and helena from classic car revivals for stopping by and helping out today um what else um don't forget to tune in on sunday when we start working on the uh, crew cab again so thanks again see ya just a little bonus footage hopefully uh we can get some doors hung on sunday i'd really like that maybe we can set the box on it pull some fenders or front clip maybe a hood on it kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like pretty exciting Lots and lots of work, but we're going to get there. Practice makes perfect, right? It's going to be a pretty slow weekend around here, I think. I'm going to probably just end up working on the house, hanging out with the kids. Oh, I take that back. I actually have to drive truck tomorrow, so I'll be uh, running to a town called Bemidji, Minnesota. Anyways, have a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye. Here's a little behind-the-scenes action for uh, <laughs> Classic Car Revival. Their episode comes out every Monday at 5 p.m. Super tall revivalist. <laughs>